Hey, what's up guys? I thought I would do a review of this coffee maker I got. It's actually an espresso maker and the interesting thing about this is that it's completely manual. Usually you might pay 500 or even more for a completely automatic espresso maker which pressurizes everything. But this you actually use your own force to create the pressure and it's actually really cool. It's fun to use. So I'll talk a little bit more about it. So this is actually called a Rock Espresso Maker. That's the company ROK. And pretty much what it comes with is the espresso maker itself. It comes with a porta filter. That's this, which you put the espresso grinds, the coffee grinds into. You pat it down with this little scoop it comes with. This acts as both a scoop and as a press to press into the, the porta filter because you have to pack it down really strongly to get the, the right effect. It comes with this little milk frother, which honestly I haven't really had a chance to use because I just drink my coffee straight. I don't really like to put milk in it. And I honestly don't even like milk, so I don't have any. So unfortunately, I'm not really gonna be able to demonstrate this. But I'll show you how the rest of this works. So pretty much how it works is you take some water, you put it into the reservoir at the top. This holds the water until you are ready to turn it into espresso. So then you take the porta filter and you fill it with the espresso grinds. I recommend grinding them fresh with your own coffee grinder. That way you get the freshest grinds and it's gonna taste the best. And then you pat it down to make sure that it's all packed in there really nice so the water doesn't seep through it without you actually applying the pressure. After you put the grinds into the porta filter, you lock it in place beneath the water area and you really want to secure it because I've found that it actually tends to leak if you don't do it really strongly. So that's something to keep in mind, but other than that, it's fine. So after that, you lift up the arms and then press it back down. And then after that, it just goes into whatever cup or espresso glass that you have. And it actually makes a double. This makes a double espresso, so that's pretty good. It recommends sometimes pressing twice. I wouldn't really do more than maybe a double shot. You, I guess you could keep squeezing it, but by, by that point, there wouldn't really be a point because then you're, you already got all the flavor out of the coffee anyway. I notice you wanna do this rather quickly because by the time the hot water, even if it's boiling at first, gets through the whole process, when it comes out, the espresso is actually not that hot if you take too long. It's more of like a lukewarm. So you definitely want to do it quickly from the time it boils right into this so that way you actually get some hot espresso that tastes better. You don't want cold coffee, no one likes that. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This is a really solid product. It's all metal. There's no plastic except for the reservoir so you can actually see through it. And the other thing is a little rubber gasket in here. It's just to prevent, I guess, the coffee grinds from going back up into where it's not supposed to be. But other than that, this whole thing is metal. It's really solid. It's all metal pieces. And I think they have a lifetime warranty on anything metal. So if anything breaks at work, they will replace it. And I guess that's pretty much all there is to it. I have to say it is really satisfying squeezing the arms down and then having a really nice drip of espresso going into your glass or whatever. It looks really cool and it tastes great too. And like I said, you probably want to grind your own beans because that way it's fresh. They say after 30 minutes or so, you know, ground coffee starts to lose its flavor. So if you buy it at the store, by that time, it already lost its flavor weeks over. So I definitely recommend grinding your own beans, getting a grinder yourself. And if you do, make sure you get a burr grinder, not a blade grinder, because a burr grinder is gonna give you a more consistent grind. It's just gonna be better overall. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. There's a cool little device. I hope you guys got a kick out of it. I've never actually seen a manual espresso press before this. I didn't really look for one, but still, I never saw one before. Uh, I don't know if this is the only manual espresso press out there. You can check them out, but it's definitely something to look into if you like espresso and maybe you do not want to get go and spend $1,000 on a big machine that does everything. You can just manually make one yourself. So let me know what you guys think. If you have anything to say, you can leave a comment. I do read them. You can also like the video. That definitely helps. And uh, subscribe. I try to make new videos at least once a week, usually more. And also you can follow me on Twitter and tweet at me because I do read my tweets. So I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.